Hi there, and welcome to a very festive holiday episode of Ask the Mead Maker. What makes this episode so special? It's that time of year where I'm allowed to drink seven mugs of wassail, and it's part of my job. Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really, any question you're willing to send to me. The first question I got this week came in person from a gentleman who visited the meadery named Josh. And he's a huge fan of these videos and he wanted to know if there's an official Ricky the Mead Maker fan club. I have also gotten this question from two other individuals on the phone, and the answer is no. You can do better. There are real celebrities out there that you can fanboy all over. But if you want to start a fan club, nobody's stopping you. Another professional mead maker sent me both a follow-up and a question this week. We'll do the follow-up first. In response to, can mead kill houseplants? Yes. Mead can kill your plants. I don't know the science behind it, but I made a pomegranate mead and through my ancestor's cut, the leftovers from racking, between my lemongrass bush and my blueberry, and they are both dead. So, counterexamples. Now on to Chris's question. His question was a braggot, which I talked about a few episodes ago. Is it, technically, government regulations aside, a honey beer or a hopped mead? I would say neither. Since it has more than 51% honey, it is not a beer, and I don't put any hops in mine. Grenfell Meadery just released Menaz on Lees, and I want to show you the improper and proper way to mix in the Lees. Now to drink Menaz on Lees, you want to get the Lees up into solution. So one way to do it is like this. Wait until the bottle is cloudy. Mother... Why can't we ever have Rebecca do this? The proper way to drink Manaz on Lees and get the Lees into solution is to gently turn the bottle upside down, open, watching for excessive foaming, decant into a glass, stir up the last little bit, and enjoy. Our next two questions come from Kyle D. First, he wanted to know if I've ever brewed a methaglin, which is a spiced mead. And the answer is yes, I'm drinking it right now. Our winter warmer and our autumn spice are both methaglins. Next, Kyle had a recipe question. He wanted to brew with one third birch sap to water to honey and wanted to know if we at Grunfeld thought this was a good idea. So far as we know, it's a fine idea. Brew it up. If it's terrible, we will amend our views on the subject. Our final question this week comes from Eric O, who noticed that we have a whole bunch of references to Norse mythology in our fun facts, our branding, and a lot of other places, and wanted to know if Norse myth inspired my making of mead. And it absolutely did. I actually really first learned about mead while studying abroad in Denmark, and my fascination with it has never waned. So with that, I will send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? What? Well, our word of the week is on lees. It means that the product has been packaged with some of the yeast left in the bottle. That's why it's cloudy when he stirred it up. Thank you for joining us for this very special Ask the Meat Maker. Keep sending your questions, and we'll get to them next week.